To start building and adding content to your Moltu course, you first need to add links to this left-hand menu. To do that, you go up to the plus sign at the upper left and you'll notice you've got a, a group of options here. The first option, content area, is by far the most useful page to create or link to create in this left-hand menu. So click on content area, give the content area a title or a name, so we'll call this week three, and then I'm going to make it available to users by checking the box. That means I'm making it available to students, so students should be able to see it in the left-hand menu. And click submit. And there it is at the bottom of that left-hand menu. If I hover over it, you'll notice to the left-hand side there are up and down arrows. These are known as grab handles, and if I click and drag, they allow me to reposition the link. You may also notice as I hover over that link, week three, that to the right I have a drop-down arrow, and if I click on that, it allows me to rename the link or hide it, permit guess or delete it. So if I click on week three, the link in the menu, it will open up a new page or window here, and it tells me the folder is empty. So this is our first content area, and we can recognize the content area by these three buttons above, the Build Content, Assessments, and Tools button. Hover over any of these and you can see how you can start adding content. If I go back to week three, the link in the left-hand menu, there's a grayed out box next to the link and if I hover over that it tells me this link has no content which corresponds to its same folder empty in the main page window here. Whilst ever a link is empty, that link will not show to a student when we look at student view. To check the student view, we go over to the upper right where it says edit mode is on and turn this to off. This gives us a student view. If I click on week two now and week one, you'll notice that now I cannot access week three. It's disappeared. Um, one thing to note, this course management control panel down here below the left-hand navigation menu, students don't see that. That's purely there for academic staff or admin staff to see. Uh, students will not have access to that. So other than that, it's pretty much the student view. You've noticed the plus sign from the upper left has become missing. We don't have the buttons anymore, and they just see the links. To go back into edit mode, you just simply click edit mode back to on. And there we go. We've got the buttons back again here, and we've got the plus sign back up at the top of the left-hand menu. So that's adding a content area, and that's by far the most useful link you can add to your left-hand menu. But we'll go ahead and investigate um, adding some of the other options. So back up to the plus sign. The next option down is a module page. And I'm just going to call this um, calculator. I'll make it available to students and I'll click submit. And there it is at the bottom. If I click on that link now, it takes me to this page where I need to click the add course module to choose the kind of module widget I want to add to that page. So here we've got a whole list of different modules or widgets we can add, a dictionary, calculator, etc. So I'm going to add a calculator for this example. Click Add, and then you scroll to the very bottom, to the right, and click OK. And there we have it, our first module added to the, um, to the calculator link. Now I could go ahead and add another course module, if I so wished, and build that page up with different modules. So that's adding a module page. Back up to the plus sign in the left-hand menu then, and the next option down is a blank page. Click on that, and again it asks for a title, so I'm going to call this Welcome. I'm going to use this as a welcome page. Again, I'll make it available to users, and I'll click Submit. And a blank page takes us straight to our text editor. So, it's given our title, Welcome, up there. We're ready to type straight into the um, into the box. So I'll just title "Welcome to Your Course." We could add images from the, any of the icons on the menu. We could center it. We could change the font, etc. All the usual things you can do with that kind of a text editor. And I'm just going to click submit. 
And this is one of the things a, um, a blank page does. It will throw you straight out of edit mode. So you go to, if you notice, the um, edit mode is showing as off at the moment. If I click it back to on, it will take us back to the text editor. So that's adding a blank page. We find it useful for maybe welcome pages, etc., or adding HTML um, if you use HTML in your content at all. I'm going to drag the welcome link and add it to the top here. And back up to the plus sign then and looking at the other options, the next option down is tool link. And this is quite a useful um, option. You'll notice it has the usual field to add a name or a title. But underneath that, there's a drop down box where you can choose from any of the tools and tools are things like announcements or calendars, blogs, links to blogs, journals and wikis, emails, discussion boards. Those kind of things are known as tools in Mole 2. So for this example, I'm going to add a tool called contacts. You still have to give it a name, even if it's exactly the same. So I'll call this staff contacts and I'll make it available to users again and click submit. There it is at the bottom again of our left hand menu. And if I click on staff contacts, you can see there are already a couple of contacts in there, the mole help desk and my own um, email address, etc. The mole help desk, we've got that as showing that the item is not available. So I've hidden that from students. So you, you do have that option. So to create a new contact, you click the create contact button. Fill in all the details and you'll notice that the email has an orange asterisk next to it and that indicates it's a required field so you do have to fill the email address in. One thing to mention with MOL2 is that the email address is linked up with your Google or Gmail account for staff and for students. Fill in the rest of the fields if you so wish and then as we get to options at number two make the profile available defaults to no so if you do want to make it available you choose yes. You can attach an image, a photo of yourself if you wish, and a personal link if you've got a, a website or a blog, for instance. And then you would just click Submit. I'll cancel out for now because we've already got two examples here. So that's adding a tool as a staff contact. So, so back up to the plus sign, and the next option down is a web link. And this is for an external website, a link to an external website. So for instance, we could type in the university of Sheffield and then type in the full web address. Make it available to students and click submit. And there is the link to that. One thing to mention with adding an external web link, they're the only options you get when you're first building that link. But if you click on the drop down to the right hand side, you've got the usual options of renaming the link. You can go in and change the actual web link address or you can set the link to open in a new window, which we would recommend. Back up to the plus sign then and the next option down below that is a course link and that's just a link to somewhere else in the course. So you could create a link to somewhere in, in week six, three folders deep if you so wished. The last two options are there purely for aesthetic reasons to help organise the content in this left hand menu. So the first option there is subheader. Give it a name so I could call mine for instance administration and I click submit. There it is at the bottom. This is not a link, it's just a header, a title. And again, I can click and drag from the left hand side and pop it somewhere more useful. So I'll pop it above calculator, let's say for instance. And the last option is to add one of these, which is a dividing line. So back up to the plus sign, click on divider. It pops it down at the bottom as usual and I could pop that just above administration and now it differentiates between the different areas of my course there. Okay, so that's adding links to the left-hand menu. And certainly the most useful one, as we mentioned earlier, is going to be one of these content areas because this is where you can actually add content. And we do have a tutorial to show you how to do that.